Hey Tube, this weekend I saw an obscure gym called Hammerman. Those of you who aren't familiar with Hammerman, I'm gonna play the intro so you can have an idea of what I had to deal with. Here's how it started a long time ago. The legend of the hammer and how it began to grow. He was given magical shoes from a hip hop Motown dude. That's right, YouTube. MC Hammer was so big at one point in time, they turned him into a cartoon superhero on a very fucking stupid show. As you can probably tell by the time MC Hammer started rapping about magical shoes, this show was some bullshit. Like, I watched the very first episode, which is usually used to establish the characters. Nope, not with Hammerman. With Hammerman, they just start mentioning random characters like you're supposed to already know who the fuck they are. Like, before the cartoon even starts, it's live-action MC Hammer talking to a bunch of kids about some bitch named Winnie. Anybody got any pets? Yeah, yeah. eight cats. Eight cats. Any dogs? Two dogs. Hey, now that was, that's what Winnie has. She has a dog. We don't know who the fuck Winnie is. We don't even know shit about Stanley or Hammerman, and they're the main fucking characters. The closest thing they have to establishing the characters is the rap intro when he's talking about magical shoes and shit. Apparently Stanley was such a good guy that he was rewarded with some hand-me-down shoes that some fake-ass James Brown motherfucker wore for 40 years. That seems extremely unsanitary. Oh, and the magical shoes can talk, which makes it kind of weird. Come on, Stanley, let us suck on them delicious feet. I ain't putting on nobody else's shoes, you weirdo. That's how you get athlete's foot. But Stanley, we're both magical. Fuck magic. I need some tough acting to nactin. Well, Stanley ends up putting on the shoes, and aside from putting the fun and fungal infection, he becomes Hammerman. And when Stanley becomes Hammerman, his powers are mad fucking ambiguous. Like, he can create shit out of nowhere, but it has these little musical notes, so I don't know if he's controlling sound or... It's regular, but it just has a little funk to it. When he shoots the bad guys with his powers, I don't know if they're dancing or if they're in pain. One of them starts shooting sperm. Is he horny? I don't know. Now, even though I don't know the full extent of Hammerman's powers, I know he is just fucking useless. They might be saying, why are you saying this, Snake? Exhibit A, his alter ego. You see, Stanley's secret identity is Hammerman. He doesn't even change outfits before going to the crime scene. He waits till he gets there to suit up in public. He does absolutely nothing to protect his fucking identity. He doesn't even take off his glasses. Even Superman took off his glasses. Oh, and he hangs out with this dude, Gramps, who looks identical to the superhero who was around before Hammerman showed up. Second, Hammerman is just shitty at detective work. Like, he was supposedly out all night looking for the bad guys who just escaped from prison. Any luck finding those escape crooks? Nope. Hammerman had us marching all night. Meanwhile, they're cruising the streets of Oakland in broad daylight in a conspicuous ass tennis shoe with the top down. And they even drove right by the rec center that the niggas always at. Third, when Hammerman's around, he's always busting these weak ass raps. I've had it with these crooks. They give me indigestion. They're headed back to jail. About that, there's no question. For me, the fact that he's rapping his weak ass rhymes negates the good that he does. Hurry, boys, we got no time for frills. Hop on this for some real cheap frills. Next time we're in a collapsing building, let's just jump. I don't want to hear Hammerman rap anymore. I mean, it's not like he's doing anything exceptionally good. Bad guys on Hammerman are pathetic. Like they got a dude named DeFacely Marmeister. The greedy graffiti gangster, DeFacely Marmeister. Which is a terrible name. Stupid as shit. I don't know why you would name him that. He has the power to paint shit and make it come to life. And all he wants to do is repaint Oakland. I'll take over every wall and cover it with graffiti. And a good amount of Oakland can use a paint job. They got a bitch, Paula Bunyan. She's obsessed with feet and shoes. Not if it's in the shoe district. That's my turf. Hey, how is this bitch even considered a super villain? Bitch has no superpower. She just has a shoe themed everything. Like the bitch has a shoe car. A uh, shoezooka has a boot that knocks down buildings. Like, bitch, why don't you just go out and spend that money on shoes? I want every shoe out on the sidewalk by sundown. And they better have be warned in. Because with me, it ain't about the shoes, it's about the feet. And I don't think we need Hammer Man to stop this bitch. You know what to put a quick end to this bitch? Her trying to steal some Jordans from the wrong motherfucker in Oakland. They have this dude, Boss Grindenheimer. I think he's a pediatrician. All he wants to do is start after school programs for children. Every Oaktown kid must report to one of my factories at dawn. You will earn an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. My factories are designed to keep kids out of gangs and off of the drugs. I'm not saying Oakland doesn't need a superhero. I'm just saying you can find better villains at any given liquor store in East Oakland. It is literally the wild, wild west on the mean streets of Oakland. With no respect for other people or the police. 
and apparently no fear of a camera. What are we doing out here, though? Sideshow City, bro. This guy in a black jacket holding in plain view. And two officers quickly leave the area, all the while taking more bottles. How did the writers fuck this up so bad? If you have a music themed superhero, he should be patrolling the clubs in Oakland to stop motherfuckers from getting shot so much. Think you'd like that big old D? I'm about to teach you how to count, nigga! That's one, two, three teeth you done lost, nigga! This bus ride is brought to you by the letter C for concussion, nigga! Hey, Lois, can I borrow a dollar for the bus? I don't know if you heard, but Superman threw my car at a robot. Didn't even do nothing to the damn robot, but I still gotta make payments on my car. Hey, we both black. Let me use urban vernacular so I can relate to you and try to rip you off. 